morning, Nahida. Uh, wait. Now that Paimon remembers everything, should we instead say good morning, Lesser Lord Kusanali? <sighs> hey! What's wrong, Nahida? You don't look too good. I'm afraid that what you're thinking right now is correct. Did Dunyarzad already disappear? No way! Are... Are we too late? The real Dunyarzad's consciousness has indeed disappeared. It can no longer endure the constant dream harvesting. something like a puppet, but not completely. The real Dunyarizad's consciousness could no longer keep playing her role in this dream. So another Dunyarizad appeared to replace her in the dream. Just like the grass and the trees, that Dunyarizad is just a building block of the dream that helps to keep it going. But personality-wise, she's nothing like the real Dunyarizad. Puppets are stiff, and can't copy a living person's vitality. After all, they're just there as filler. You know, speaking of which... The old Dunyarzad might not have been too different from a puppet. Dunyarzad truly believed that she met you within her consciousness. And it was you who inspired her! So you do remember her after all! Yes. Back then... Her family was overly protective of her. No one cared about her personality or thoughts. It was as if she only lived to stall her Elazar. I just gave her a little wisdom, so she could look at life in a new way. So that she could be her own person. But even so, she's still... Far from it. I'm still a long way off from being a real Archon. I couldn't even save her. If I were a competent Archon, I wouldn't have let my most faithful follower die at the Subzerus Festival with so many regrets. Please don't beat yourself up over it, Nahida. It's the Sage's fault, and theirs alone! I... I'm not beating myself up. All I did was to rationally observe the distance between myself and a real Archon. Don't be like that, Nahida! Real Archons are still allowed to be sad! To prevent more tragedies like this, we must end the Samsara as soon as possible. Great, but how do we do that? Although the Subzerus Festival dream is under the Akasha's control, only humans can dream. Even the Akasha is unable to create them. That means this dream belongs to a host who created it. Huh? So... How should we find that person? Well, if this is someone's dream, then everything here must come from deep within their consciousness. Which means, with the power of imagination, they can change anything in this dream. Imagination? What do you mean by that? Imagination means breaking through what you perceive as normal. Like when a server at a tavern brings a plate to you, you'd naturally assume that food is on it. However, if you're the dream's host and you become aware that you're dreaming, when you imagine gold and more on the plate, the dream will respond in kind, and the server really will bring you gold and mora. But right now, our host is unaware that this is a dream. No matter how many times they're served, it will always be food. Find some way to make that person realize that they're dreaming. Usually, once that happens, the person will wake up and the dream samsara will be broken. How are we going to find them, though? If it could be anyone, it'd be like looking for a needle in a haystack! And 
Even if we did find them, how are we supposed to make them realize they're dreaming? After all, like you said, don't wake a sleepwalker. It's extremely difficult, yes. But the only ones who can do it are you two. Remember, everything you've achieved up to this point has all been for the sake of finding the host and ending the samsara. As for me... Uh, during this time, I'll be out of town. Out of town? Are you going to that place full of dreams where the Traveler went? Yes. I, I want to try something. There must still be a small wisp of possibility. Nariengo! Dreams are supposed to be fantastical, romantic, and full of pleasant surprises. Unnecessary things like this samsara need to end. Hmm. Paimon's still a little upset that we've come this far only for Dunyarzad to... She was such a good person, with such a simple wish, but fate was against her. Yeah, saving Dunyarzad is what kept us going this whole time. But we mustn't lose hope, Traveler. Dunyarzad would definitely want to see us save everyone else. So let's break the samsara for her sake. Paimon's wondering, do you think the sages would get one of their own to be the host of this dream? Feels like it would be easier to control it that way, no? Huh. That's true. Plus, the sages probably weren't counting on there being other factors beyond their control. Like Nahida and us. So, who do you think the host of the dream is? Oh, that would make sense. Ferris the Knight of Flowers is a symbol of the wholesome Zeru's festival, right? Pretty core character. Let's go ask him some questions, shall we? You're back. You left in a hurry last time. I is everything okay? Everything's fine. Just... Um... It's a little hard to explain. Uh... Would you mind taking part in a little experiment with us? An experiment? That came out of nowhere. I'm listening, though. What do you need me to do? Could you... Make a wish? You want me to make a wish? Is that a new sub -Zeru's festival tradition or something? Less questions, more wishing! Okay. Okay. My wish. My wish. Um, okay. I'm a little nervous saying this out loud, but I want Miss Dunyarzad to be happy. I noticed earlier that she looked a bit down, and she wasn't really talking to anyone. She just doesn't seem like herself. She's always so gentle and kind, and all the kids love her. I've also wondered if the reason she asked me to be Ferris Knight of Flowers is because I'm special to her, or something. So... You have a crush on Dunyarzad? Uh, <laughs> oh, is it that obvious? After what I just said, I guess it is. When she placed the hat of the Knight of Flowers onto my head, she said to me, I want everyone to have a happy sub -Zeru's festival. What she didn't realize was that I'm not that interested in how everyone else feels. In that moment, I just wanted to be her Knight of Flowers for the rest of my life. Fifty years? A hundred years? 
I'll serve her till the end of time. Okay, yeah, that was a bit much. Felt like the right moment to get it off my chest, but <clears throat> that was pretty embarrassing. Okay, I'm ready to make my wish. I would like Miss Dunyarzad to appear in front of me right now with a smile on her face. Here goes. Please come true. I'm gonna open my eyes. Oh. Uh. Oh! You're... What? Faki? Uh, sorry, but only one portion of Yalda candies per person. Back home you go. <laughs> uh, nice try, you two. Anyway, never mind. I don't need to see her appear right in front of me. As long as she's happy. <laughs> uh, guess he isn't the host of this dream after all. Should have expected it wouldn't be this easy. It seems like everyone who knows Dunyarzad loves her. But none of them has any idea that she... My lady, step back. That sounds like Dia! Oh, right. This is when Dunyarzad bumps into the kidnappers. Huh? But Dia can handle them. Hey, Traveler! Oh, it's you. Great timing. Please take... Hey, this is my job. The homie Yanni's pay me, not you. You... Ugh, fine, alright. Knock yourself out. Why are you so worked up anyway? It's not like I don't trust your fighting skills. Anyway, watch yourself. So you got yourself some backup. <laughs> Suit yourself. You're going down. A new yeah. punch today. Let's light it up. <laughs> Out of the frying pan. Life goes on. Teamwork is dream work. You can't run. <laughs> Judgment. You want this? <laughs> Boba, get them! Lights out! I'll take Where do you think you're Everybody stand! Sacred name, Fortune Preserver. Traveler? Were you just taking your anger out on those guys? <sighs> you and Nahida both. Dunyarzad wouldn't want to see you two like this. Oh, and speaking of her, Paimon just remembered something. Remember how during the first Sub-Zero's festival, before the Samsara started, we came here with Dunyarzad because she wanted to pick something up? She said it was because she had forgotten something. Okay, so Paimon's memory is working so far. Anyway, Paimon also remembers that she is staying somewhere around here. She... Yeah, even if it's only a tiny clue, it'll probably still help us more than this needle in a haystack search. This is the place! It's rude to enter other people's spaces without permission, but desperate. Hey, the windows are unlocked. Okay, uh, Paimon's gonna take a peek inside. This was only a temporary residence, so there was pretty much nothing inside except this book on the table. Should we open it? Wow. 
Shinyarzad wrote all of this. Sounds like she was always thinking of us even while we were away. Even though she was also busy preparing for the Subzeru's festival and had all her health problems to worry about, she must have wanted to give this to us as a gift on the day of the Subzeru's festival, right? If we hadn't found this book, we never would have known. But now that we know, we can't even thank her. Come to think of it, we've been stuck in this place for a really, really long time. Heck, even the last time we were chatting happily with Denyarzad feels like an eternity ago. still remembers when we were sitting here and the way her eyes sparkled when she talked about Nilu's dance of Subzeru's. There will always be frustrations in life, but I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. That was what the real Dunyarzad said, wasn't it? Yes, Traveler. What is it? Oh, so she's still just a puppet. <laughs> 